Good morning, good morning, good morning. Everybody come on in. It is the Own Your Now show and it is Freedom Friday. It is time for us to connect. So everybody come on in, grab your cup. Let me know if it is full or what, because we have a powerful show for you today. It is Freedom Friday. We have Alonzo Nelson from the Collective STL. He's going to talk about how important it is for us to just breathe and get ourselves to make sure that we are well. We got Delitra, the boss lady. She's going to talk about money, money, money. And then we're going to wrap up finding out how we can define our beautiful. So everybody come on in, share with a friend and get ready for the Own Your Now show. Good morning, everybody. I see you. I see you coming in. Good morning, G. I see you. I see you, Keisha. So, you know, we got, we always get started with our song of the day. My song of the day today is India Ari and it's simply called Breathe. So... As we're coming in, I'm going to say hello to everybody, but start taking your deep breaths now, everybody. I see you, Laura. Good morning. It's Friday. Take some breaths, everyone. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, owners. Let's start with our circle. Good morning, Melissa. Balance it out. Reverse it. Good morning, Carla. We're doing our shoulders. Let's go back. Everybody take a deep breath. Release. Let's go forward. Continue to breathe. That's all we got to do, right? Take your stretches in honor of your brothers, your sisters. We have a, an amazing team that's going to speak to you today. One more stretch. Sit to yourself. Take some deep breaths. Deep breaths for the future. That's what our heart is for, continuing to breathe. I hope that you guys are feeling refreshed because we have so much to talk about and we don't want to waste any time. I'm going to jump right in because I have uh, several special guests and they are all doing so much today on this wonderful Friday. So we're going to bring in our first guest right away. His name is Alonzo Nelson. Um, he is the co-founder of Collective STL. He's an educator, Mr. Math. He's a husband. Um, he's a community activist. He does so much to uplift us and we want to find out more about him. So bring on Mr. Alonzo Nelson. How you doing, brother? I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Man. You mentioned a lot of things, and I'm on my way to one of those things right now. I see you're on the road, and that's okay, because you know what? It is Freedom Friday, and it's it's good to have the freedom to do what it is that you love to do. Um, so I want to just jump right in. Before I do that, I want to say thank you for, for being a part of this journey. I know that when I look at all that you do, the first thing that stands out is that you are a husband. You say that right off, like, look, my, everything that I do is about my family. Um, and you guys do everything together. You're like the Olympic family. You're always winning, winning, winning. So tell <laughs> us, how are you feeling your cup today? What what role are you playing today? All right, so today I'm playing the role of daddy, Harper's in the backseat. Um, and, oh, um, and I'm playing the role of coach. Uh, for those, those that don't know, uh, Dawn is preparing for the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo. So she's making a comeback after having our beautiful baby girl who's one now. And um, to add to to add to the suspense of just training for the Olympics, I'm I'm like coaching her full time um, along the yes. way. So 
So that's, I'm, that's amazing. Yeah, so I'm on the way to uh, meet her for her training session, and I'm bringing a baby. So it's so her training, so the baby doesn't be out in the heat for a long period of time. So got it, got it. You guys wear so many different hats, and you know this is this will be her third. She's coming back. They don't call it yeah. a comeback. We're gonna be yeah. her on. It's so um it's so powerful to see. Black girl magic, you know, when it comes to a woman that that has everything, and people say, "Can you, you can you have it everything?" Yes, you can when you balance it all. And this is something that, in watching your journey, we think you guys do it, and we're so proud of you. Um, you are also a, a, a mathematician. You work with children. You inspire our young our young men and women um, to be the best that they can be. And I like that this is Freedom Friday, and and uh, we got to have you tap into what that means to know what financial literacy and financial freedom means. But today we wanted to talk about, I said just breathe, black men and yoga. Um, talk to us about how important it is for us to center ourselves. Cause you, you train women and men, right? Yes, yes, women and men. Um, so I, I, practiced, I started yoga, I started yoga um, to, to just as a bonding, as something to bond with my mother with when I was in high school. Um, and I fell in love with it. Um, I fell in love with the the movement that it provided, and with movement uh, uh, came with the stress. I mean, uh, relief from stress. Um, and at, and and as a high schooler, as a young kid, like I didn't recognize stress. I just knew that after the after I did yoga, every time I did yoga, I felt better afterwards. And so um, I incorporated that into my life. And then you fast forward to now. Um, uh, well, even like in my late. My, my early 20s to, to today, um, I introduced so many other people to yoga. And um, honestly, it was one of those things where black people didn't feel like it was for them. Black mm-hmm. people didn't, they couldn't find space to even do it. Like even like as I was coming up and practicing yoga, I felt more comfortable practicing from my home because every studio I represent, I was, I was black people. I was the black people in the studio, you know what I mean? And that's the same, that's the same experience for 90% of black people that do try to do yoga and things of that nature. So um, but in spite of in spite of the isolation when you are in in yoga in a yoga studio um prior to now, right the the the, the, the relief that it provides is you can't put you can't put a price tag to it. You you really can't, you know. Um and, and you're right. Prior to um, the collective STL, you know, maybe you would go into a class or see it on video and I would I would watch it on YouTube and I would get caught up in just looking at the water versus, you know, actually doing the work. Um, but my son is an athlete. He plays football and they integrated it into their practice. And I just love that they were they're able to do that. And, and he's taken that with him. And so. You know, there's a true benefit for for everyone, and it's something that the whole family can do together. Um, when did the collective STL start? And tell them even how they can find the STL. Okay, so the collective STL is um, the set. The collective STL is the the, the child uh, or is birthed through um, yoga teacher training that um, three of the co-founders were in me. And, Mel- and Melinda Oliver were a part of, and it was our passion project, you know, coming out of this yoga teacher training. And our passion was to bring yoga to black people. Um, and so our very, very first event after graduating, so a month after we graduated from yoga teacher training was January. And January is synonymous to Martin Luther King's birthday. Right. And so we, the, it was, I, I, I don't want to get the years wrong. So it's 2020. I, I would like to say it was 2018, like July. I mean, January 2018, we had our very first event on Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, and we called it AHIMSA. AHIMSA is Sanskrit for, uh, Sanskrit for the practice of nonviolence towards people and things. Yes. And that was, that was Dr. Martin Luther King's mission. That was Dr. Martin Luther King's passion, and that's what he taught. And so in, in honoring him, I should have worn a AHIMSA shirt, but in honoring him, we had our very, very first uh, yogi event. And um, and it was amazing in um, in a yoga studio in the old North area, about three blocks wow. away from Crown Candy. Yes, that, yes. that that studio became our home, and uh, from it we started Saturday morning classes. And Saturday morning classes from Saturday morning classes we added a Tuesday night class. Then the next summer we added a Thursday night class, 
And then last summer we added a Sunday um, afternoon class and all of our classes are donation based. And, and, and because because, wow. again, the perception of yoga, the perception of yoga in black people was something that, you know, affluent, like, you know, something that you you it's expensive. It, it has been expensive. Like a drop in class was like 15 to 20 dollars. And for us to do something that we're not familiar with and to drop 20 of our hard earned money dollars into something that we don't, we don't even know if we're going to like, uh, it was right. highly unlikely on top of the fact that, you know, you go into a studio and you're going to be the only one in there that looks like yourself. Um, right. All of those play into keeping us away from it. And so for us, we were, we were like, let's, let's remove, let's remove one of the deterrents and that's price. So you pay, yeah. you pay what you can to come and practice with us. And um, we're very, and and then you add to that the fact that your teachers, the teachers look like you, and yeah. then and then when you turn around and you look to your left and to your right, they look like you, and, yes. and, it's, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. You know, I'm always pushing culturally relevant materials and activities. We need to see people who look like us to be inspired. That's something that Heathen Stallings talked about yesterday. You're also part a part of 100 Black Men. I love seeing our Black men out here doing the work, you know, and something that me and my husband talk about all the time that we have to show up and show our community what this looks like. Um, I've had so many young people now talking about yoga because of them experiencing it through your organization. And the fact that you said that there are donations um, that they can just come in and give a donation. We need to support our, our, our black organizations more. That That's really big. Now, you guys are also doing um, something that you do every Wednesday. Just breathe. STL, tell everybody about this. So this is for the whole family. So we're super excited for our very, very first uh, wellness series that we'll be doing this summer. Um, every Wednesday from July the 15th through August the 12th is called Just Breathe STL. And we're going to be in the North Lawn. We're going to be on the North Lawn of the Missouri History Museum. Um, we've been we've we've been very fortunate to be partnering with the Missouri, Missouri History Museum for a, a plethora of things. Um, in fact, our Ahimsa, project, our Ahimsa class this year was at the museum and it was amazing. But um so yeah, every so Wednesday, six six p.m. to eight p.m., we're going to we're just really concentrating on breath um, and mindfulness. And so, with that being said, we're gonna have we're gonna have yoga classes. We're gonna have chair yoga. We're gonna have mindful <laughs> hikes. We partner with Black people who hike, and um, they're gonna take people out on hikes. Um, we're gonna have one of our um, remember I told I told you um, last summer we graduated eleven black yoga teachers. One of those yoga teachers, uh, one of those new yoga teachers, is an art is an art teacher, and she's going to lead a mindful painting at oh, wow. the line. Um, and this is going to be every Wednesday. We're going to have live music, uh, live DJ. Um, we're going to have activities, 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 and it's for and it's for everybody. Every member of the family is uh, is. Is, is welcome yeah. and there's going to be something for them and we're super excited to um to for, for it to start i, I don't know I, I don't i'm know excited i'm going. excited and it's outdoors it's for all the family so we don't have to worry about you know COVID. this is a good time we need to be outdoors even more um i, I love everything that you're talking about i'm a non-violent king ambassador and so to see that we can use this in so many different forms it is profound. Someone talked about or is asking the question here, how can they donate if they're not in St. Louis and do you offer virtual? So that's that's an amazing that's an amazing question. So um you can donate to us at um at our cash app uh, dollar sign the collective STL. Um and um and then uh you said we workshop. So we we've done we've done a couple of workshops. In fact, we're we're working on a new. They workshop. were saying, I guess they were saying virtual. Do you do any virtual workshops or virtual class? So, um, in in lieu of COVID, we we have been we have been and we're actually in the planning and the finalizing of our plans for a workshop on uh, restorative not uh, restorative yoga. Um, oh. we, we're partnering with uh, Dr. Gill. Dr. Gail, who just wrote our, she just published her first book. Um, and is I can't, I, I wish I had, I had this at the top of my mind, but like she, uh, it's, it's, it's centered around yoga and racial, um, and racial 
Arm. So to be doing a uh, talk with Dr. Gale, moderated by, uh, I would like to say in August. Um, you would just have to go. So the best way because they can go to our website. they can go to look. I was going to say our website. They can go, go to your to website, our right? Website definitely our website. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Just really, really keep you abreast to like what's going on. Uh, again, like right now. Our main focus is making sure that our members, our members and whomever else wants to practice with us is safe. So um, we have an outdoor classes every Saturday morning now um, yes. for, for safety purposes. Um, we're focused on our Just Breathe STL, which is really giving um, black people a chance to just breathe and be safe. Uh, man, we're coming out. We're coming out. I, I wanted to show you guys something. So like we're constantly posting while you're talking. And um, so you learn to put Just Breathe every Wednesday on the North Lawn of Missouri History Museum, 6 p.m. to 8. And then she put O.M. But then she she changed it to P.M. Tell everybody what O.M. Um, means. Om is Om is a universal sound, uh, and it's and it's um, it's kind of it's kind of the the main symbol of what yoga is. And when you look at the Om sound, um, the Om symbol, it says so much, right? Yoga means to yoke together. It means to bind um, your your body, your spirit, and your mind together. And it's it's the binding of things. And so, honestly, when you think about yoga, it 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 binds it binds yourself to the universe or the God. Um, uh, it also it also as when you practice with each other, you bind together as as a community, which is what makes the collective STL so strong. After every class, we say Ubuntu, which is yes. South African philosophy for "I am because you are," and so we recognize the the yoking together of being in a space with us and breathing with us, and. Yes. Um, and and that's that's really honestly the embodiment of the the term om or the the sound om, and um, and it's it's a beautiful thing. Well, I, I appreciate everything that you have to offer to us. So what you don't know, and we're we're about to uh, go on to our next guest, um, Delitra Hudson. She talks about financial literacy. This is all about freedom and and really defining what this is all about. And I love it, love it, love it. What you don't know is on Freedom Friday, which we call every Freedom Friday. Every day is freedom, right? For us, but um, we ask everybody for their cash app and then we pour into someone else's cup. We want to pour into your cup today. So did you say the collective STL or collective STL? Because the, the cash the, app, you got to get it right. Yeah, it's the collective STL. And like what should happen is you should see our tree, our logo. Um, so, um, yeah. I love it. The collective so STL. Much. I'm so excited. I'm going to come out on Wednesday. I'm ready to just breathe. Um, everything that you guys are doing is so profound. Tell Dawn that we are like pushing for her. We can't wait to uh, have her go back and make this happen. And we're all going to be cheering her along. Harper such a she's so good girl, man. Look at you, just calm. Yeah. Like, Thank you, Boo Butt. Yes. Yeah, you ready to get out of that chair? <laughs> wearing the hats well. You're wearing the hats well. So thank, thank you so you. much. We'll see you on Wednesday. And everybody remember Collective STL. Before you leave, tell us one word that defines your own your now week. So one affirmation word for the week. Positivity. Positivity. Got it. Yeah. Positivity. We got you. We got you. Stay positive. Keep breathing. Keep sipping. And owning your now. And we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, see y'all he got his water. He got his water. That's yes. important. Thank you. Woo. So gosh, my cup is, is continuously full and I'm I'm just taking it all in. We're gonna keep this rolling because it is Freedom Friday and we're gonna talk about finance about financial literacy. We got the money boss in the house, and we're gonna bring her right on on so that we can talk to her and find out what can we do to be millionaires, right? What's up? Come on in, Delitra. How you doing, sister? I am awesome. Great morning. Thank you for having me this morning. Good morning to you, sister. Soror, all of that and more. What is in your cup? How are you filling it up? My cup is filled. Look, I have the Money Boss mug. Yes. And it is filled with um, positivity, abundance, prosperity. Yes. 
and yes. many blessings. And Wait we're just going to take it all in. You said prosperity, blessings, abundance. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it just flow. Just let it flow. Just let it flow. Because that's what it is. My cup is is full. And I love it because like today has been an awesome day already. And now you're going to let us know what this looks like for us to financially fill up our cup. So they don't call you the money boss for nothing. Like you are the financial educator. And I was looking at your bio. You said my mission is to help over 100 women create a, a wealth protection plan for their business and per personal finances. That's just in 2020. You've been doing this for over 25 years. So you've touched so many of the eyes through your books and, and your workshops and conferences. What is it that made you say, I want to create this generational wealth for everybody? Because I see that it is so desperate, desperately needed. Um, whether we realize it or not, as an African-American community, we have $1.5 trillion in the economy that we pour into it. That's a lot of power. Um, yes, and we don't really recognize the power that we have. And when we start to tap into redirecting that power to put into and start filling positive buckets um, that will start to benefit not only our household, but as is stated biblically, our children's children. That's when I start talking about this wealth plan because we unfortunately, when it's hot, we think that money is a personal thing and right. nobody is, is, is experiencing the issues that we are experiencing. We seem to think that we're on an island alone All dealing ourselves. with our money problems. And believe it or not, the majority of the country, United States, one of the richest countries in the world, the majority of the population has financial problems problems. There yeah. is only 1% of wealth in the United States. So think about what the other 99% of people are doing. And those are the people that I'm talking to because they're, the majority of households, especially in our community, are ran by African-American women. Yeah. And we need to really, the women are my passion. Um, and purpose for work, and that that goal of one hundred is just between now and December. Yeah. I heard that because we already halfway through the year. Absolutely, we already halfway through the year. Absolutely. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let me get in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spring this out because I, I really need okay. to talk about this. You talk about having the money mindset. You yeah. know, and so much of it is going out instead of going in. Like this is the pandemic, and I I want to say. Ooh, I'm so glad we're talking about finances here because everybody needs to pay things off. But we spend a lot. I, I, I'm guilty of Amazon Prime getting stuff in the mail. But you talk about the money mindset and, and how there's a difference between um, when, when we spending versus saving and, and all those things. There is a, 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 a there is a, a plan that we should follow. Correct. There is absolutely a plan. And the thing about it, Sora, is that my plan is not your plan. And your plan is not your sister's plan. So, you know, everybody has their individual plan. And, and that's where the importance of understanding your relationship with your money comes into play. When you Ooh. think about money, money is not a tangible thing. Money is just, money is no more than the paper that is written on. It's the power that we give it that makes it, that adds value to it and understanding what that relationship is with your money just as we have a relationship with any other person is important to understand how do we treat it how do we the way we treat it is how it treats us so when we are careless and reckless with or messy you know there was a point in my life where I had sloppy money habits that's part of my story if you ever hear me speak you hear my story because I'm I am transparent and I am authentic about what it is that I am teaching because that adds to my credibility. Um, prior to me starting my businesses, I ran cities. So if I can help cities manage right. and, and, and budget multiple millions of dollars, I can certainly help you and show you ways I, I, of I like that. that you know, I like that um, that you say 
that your story, everybody has a story. Everybody has had highs and lows when it comes to their credit scores, when it's time to buy a house, buy a car, all these different things. And everybody's plan, it's different. But you you have been trans transparent with with uh, with your process. But the thing that I think a lot of people don't understand that I love is, like you said, you've worked with municipalities, you work with corporates corporations and nonprofits and you still do. But I like the fact that you're like, but I can work one on one with you two moms and sisters and daughters that you're like, I can still give back to my women who are struggling to figure this thing out. And we need someone that looks like us to say help. You know, uh, Charnel is coming on. She's about to launch something really big and I can't wait for her to talk about it. But we need this financial team to support us and our ministries. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me tell you why I am so I'm so committed to to what you just said. I'm so committed to stepping back and and holding the hands of women, of daughters, of of children, um, because I, I the reason I am and it's evident because I started a financial wellness institute. That's my financial academy where wow. I step back and I help people, individuals. These are not businesses. These are not municipalities. They're small businesses because some of the women are small business owners, but I help you in, through my financial academy understand the, the your money relationship, shift that money mindset, put the yeah. plan in place, making sure that we're creating strategies to help you increase your, your income sources so that we can build and create that generational wealth plan. It doesn't matter what your area of expertise is. It doesn't matter what your knowledge base is. My commitment to you is to help you improve your financial position by helping you to increase your financial knowledge. And that's what I do through my Financial Wellness Academy. And right now, I am um, actually preparing to enroll for the Adult Academy. But another thing, Tracy, is that I'm kicking off a youth financial academy. I was about to say, you know, when you are um, your mother and you yes. talk about financial literacy when it comes to our children and how important that is because we can't leave our generation legacy to our kids and they don't know how to manage it. Absolutely. You know? And our kids don't know a lot. I, I was glad to have um, Alonzo on. He's the Mr. Math. He talks about this. We have to make this stuff tangible where our children understand the value of saving. And, and you know, we used to have the bank. People used to put stuff under the uh, the mattress and we used to have the banks and all of that. Yes. But financial literacy for our youth, that is so important. Please talk to us about that. So one of the things is that um, I'm a, an, a children's book author. Um, when I started writing books, my first books were for children. And people used to ask me, Delitra, with everything that you know, why are you writing a children's book? I said, because our children are the foundation. I am an yes. advocate for youth financial literacy. Yes. I believe that when we educate our children, they're the ones who take it back to the family and help educate those adults yes. that, that are not ready to hear us because yes. they're carrying too much. They're in too much denial. So when we educate our children, we empower our families. And that's how we start to transform the communities in which we live by improving the financial position of our people. So the, the youth are always going to be my base for going back to. I am so, I get so excited wow. when I get a chance to, to yes. tap into the youth. And I speak so um, in such simple strategies that my adult clients or con some are connected to me through my children's books because they bought the books for their children and they learned something. So but that's how we met. That's how we yeah. met with you doing the financial literacy for the children. And and everything that you do is so tangible. And that, that's what I love about it. You know, your cup, you said your cup was full of abundance. It really, truly is. There's so much that we can get from you. This is a free resource. I hope everybody is sharing, 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 and sharing some more. Tell us, how do they get in touch with you? Because you're available. You're, you're right here in our community. You're from our community. Like this is the black woman who rocks everybody. And I need you all to understand that these are resources that you can utilize by just like picking up the phone, going online. How can they find you? 
Just visit my website. You can find me anywhere on social media. On my website is DeletraHudson.com. Social media is at Deletra Hudson everywhere. Um, and more importantly, do not back away from connecting with me. Um, if you go to my website, there is, you can get a free ebook. Um, there's time where you can schedule with me. I'm just, I just want to connect. I am looking for 12 disciples. 12 disciples meaning people Woo! who can connect with me and help me spread the word because I know that I, don't, I can't do this alone. And when I get advocates that are on my side, like Tracy giving me a platform, anybody who wants to be a disciple, please connect with me. If you want to invite oh, wow. me to come and speak at your group, with, with a group, um, your church, it doesn't matter. I am on a mission to help transform financial positions of our people. And I am pretty much trying to do it by any means necessary. How I Look, can connect with you to get it done. Theory. By because, anybody. you know, Tracy, and I'm not going to take up too much more time because I can talk all forever about what it is that I love to do. But this pandemic, if it has not shown or taught you a lesson about anything else, you should have learned something from being able to sit down and restructure your financial position. If you continue to have a job, that was a blessing. If you didn't and you were laid off, that could have been a blessing for some people because you may have earned more money being laid off during this time yes. than any other time before. So now is a great time to just do that mindset shift. You gotta start so, over. So let's just connect. I'm sure that there is some, everybody, almost everybody on this line today had been touched with someone who they, who has, who was here today and gone tomorrow with this COVID. So being prepared and making sure that you have strategy and information in place to protect yourself and your family, that is key. And that is my mission. Okay. I got it. I got it. That is key. It is your mission. Let me tell you how I know that this is confirmation because you talked about looking for disciples and we got a millennial pastor next. And okay. she's going to talk about how we can pull that all together because there is a need for us to come together. And we got to say amen to it. You know, everybody said, all right, and now 12. Melissa said, all right, and now 12 disciples. You need to know that your passion for what it is that you do to create generational wealth is definitely a ministry for you. And when you yes. believe that and you pray on it, you can make it happen. But you got to do the action. You got to do the action. We already know what faith without works is, right? That's and we right. want to live this and live a legacy. So tell us as we, we were about to bring on Charnel, but tell us what is your affirmation word of the day. And of course, because we're still dropping in money for the collective STL, what is your cash app as well? But tell us your affirmation word of the day. My affirmation word of the day is visibility. Woo. Okay. Okay. Because yes. Visibility because if, if I am in a silo, I cannot connect with people. So as long as my efforts each day is to make sure that I'm visible and people know that I am, I exist and I am here for them, that is part of my work for that day. Each and yes. every day. So commitment to visibility is my affirmation. Thank and my you. cash app is Delitra Hudson, dollar sign Delitra Hudson. Okay, so we'll put that down. Everybody's going to put that up as well as the collective STL. And thank you so much for filling up our cup with abundance. We'll continue to collect, connect with you. Yeah, we need to collect our funds and get everything together. And I'll see you soon. See thank you soon. You so much. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Everybody. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just got to keep this going. I'm so excited because I constantly am getting confirmation, confirmation. And I know that Charnel is getting it too. Let me tell you guys something. Do I look beautiful? Well, we're about to dazzle you with our millennial pastor. And she has some news that she's going to share about something she's launching next week. Come on in, Charnel. Yay. How you doing? I am well. How are you? How are you? Look, your, your t-shirt says, wake up, right? Yeah. Wake up. Wake up, pray. Wake up, pray. Wake up, pray. Hustle. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a song that I like where he says something like, get up. It's time to go to church. Like, do you know that one? He's like, wake up, wake up. Not Let me you. say, millennial pastor, pastor's wife, you guys are doing all these things together. 
Um, and I love it. I don't know when you I know you heard Delitra talk about the 12 disciples. I'm mm-hmm. like, this is confirmation. <laughs> it's Freedom Friday. It is such a great time for us because we're always talking about what's next, what new business are coming. And you are launching something beautiful. I Tell everybody that. what it is that you're launching. Is it July 15th? Tell them when is it? When is it? it? It's a Monday coming up. I am launching uh, my first business. It is called Dazzle Me Beautiful. It is a uh, online jewelry boutique and um, it's going to be awesome. I'm really, really excited about it. I love it. You have this style and dazzle about yourself. Um, One of the things that you just said that just stood out for me, she says, one of my first businesses, like I'm going to have so that's many right. more that's being that's birthed out of this. What made you want to do start Dazzle Me Beautiful? And the way that you spell it, the way that you spell it, I'm gonna I'm put it in here so you guys can see it. But what made you say Dazzle Me Beautiful? So, um, like you just mentioned, uh, the way that I spell it is different in the front. It's B U, which I have my cup ready for you. Oh yes, what's in the cup? <laughs> My BU cup. Um, um, so anybody that knows me, they know that I've kind of always been that dazzle, glitz, gram- glamour girl at a young age. But um, it wasn't until starting the business. Well, even as I got older, I understood the real meaning of what being beautiful was. And once the business came, it came out of nowhere. Uh, at a certain point of the year, I like to give stuff away. So if that's the goodwill or to other people, sometimes I randomly go to churches and see if their ministry wants to give things away because there are certain churches that do um, some giveaways and stuff. And this particular time I was cleaning out everything and my husband and I were uh, talking about just some a whole bunch of different things. Our conversations are everything, but, (laughs) um, and it just came up. It was just an idea and we began to brainstorm and he threw out a couple names and I was like, I don't like that. And then instantly it was just like, this is the one. And I knew it was from God because once, um, I decided to change the beautiful and to be you to full, um, immediately he just began to download different things into me. And one particular revelation he gave me was there are um, we're in a generation now where there are a lot of carbon copies walking around because it's accessible. Uh, we're able to log on to the internet and see what we want to be and be like her. Mm-hmm. I want to be like her versus being you. Exactly. Instead of genuinely uh, understanding that God made you a certain way for a reason. And because he made you that way, it's up to you to walk authentically, boldly, and to being exactly who he needs you to be for this time. Preach. So that is where that name come from. And before you knew it, instantly the jewelry business and the business part, it instantly became a movement for me. So I, we, I, are, we are extremely excited. It's going to be so much bigger than just the jewelry. I, I, I can't wait to get I can't wait to get my first piece. I've, I kind of got a little peek. Yeah, you, know, you got you got a bestie that I got like a back end door. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, and you know, it's something, you know, it, it, this is really powerful. Like, I know this because, like, my body is shaking. My mom used to always love this type of jewelry. And my mom transitioned last year. But she would always give people a token gift. She's like, let me just give you this little bit of jewelry. Or if she had on some, she would be like, you want these? And she would gift it to you. So the fact that you were saying all of this, I know that this is not just a, a, a movement. It is a movement, but it is a ministry. Yeah. And I know a lot of people say, well, can a business be a ministry? Talk to us about this. And the other thing is everybody's talking about the cup. Like when you launch next week, or the week after that, I'm going to have to get the cup. I'm going to need yeah. that cup. Um, because, like I got to have the cup and the earrings. So yeah. tell us, talk to us about this because. You are a millennial pastor. Your husband's a pastor. You guys have a, a ministry and I love to watch you guys grow. Can a business be a ministry? Yes, it can. I just gave you an example about how God turned my business into a movement that quick. Um, simply a business can be a ministry because in every, I'll, I'll just give you an example for my business in particular. 
the mission of Dazzle Me Beautiful is not just for you to buy a piece and say, oh, I got this from here or I got this from there. But it's simply to help you feel just as good on the outside as you do on the inside. Sometimes it takes because my mom would say when you when you look good, you feel good. Yes. yes. <laughs> when you look good, you feel like can't nobody tell you nothing. Ain't when nobody you tell you me nothing. nothing. When you look good, you want to strut, you want the world to know. And in this uh particular uh business venture, it's literally about getting you to feel good on the inside. Feel like God has called you to something bigger. Feel like you can make it even through a pandemic. To feel like you are worth, you are more than enough. You don't have to take that man doing running over you. You don't have to take the drama that your friend or somebody trying to give you. You don't have to take it because you are who God has called you to be. You are exact. You are where you are because of God. If it was not for him, you would not be in that place. So I know it may you may feel the pressure. You may feel like it's it's kind of stagnant. You're not seeing results, but you are where you should be in this moment in moment. This time. Own it. Let me tell you something. Own and own your now is the same word. It's the mm-hmm. same word. Exactly. How about a wake? You better wake up. Wake up. She's preaching to us. You're preaching to me because a lot of times, you know. I, I, I used to stay away from that. People like, well, you know, how did you know? Well, God said, and I was like, well, this is what God said to me. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I'm not saying that God's going to sound the same to you, but I know what I heard and I know what he downloaded into my spirit. And, right. and, and I do get confirmations of that. And so we have to like block out what they say. That's right. They say, she say, who say, we say, it's what God said to you and you have to act on it. Yes, yeah, somebody, Nayleen said, um, we at church now. We at church now. <laughs> Listen, I want them to know about when you launch, but I also want them to know about where can they find you, Millennium? Where can they find your ministry, you and your husband and all the great things that you guys yes. are doing? Well, we pastor one of the greatest churches in St. Louis, Missouri. Now, <laughs> we pastor Relevant Church. You can find us on any social media at Relevant Church. Right now, we're not physically in the building because of the pandemic, but right. we are online at 8 a.m. every single Sunday, preaching, singing, trying not to go crazy with the camera. Woo! So you can find us on Facebook, Instagram at Relevant Church, and then we also have a web website, you can go to www.relevantchurchstl.com. Um, you can get on there. You can fill out a, a virtual visitor's card. We'll stay connected with you. So you can yes. know you got your own. Uh, so you can find us anywhere at Relevant Church. Um, you can also follow the uh, business page on Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, we're at Dazzle Me BU. Once again, it's Dazzle Me BU. And on Facebook, we're just at Dazzle Me Beautiful. And don't forget, the beautiful in the beginning is BU and you. Beautiful. That's right. I, I put that up there. So, 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 so Dazzle Me Beautiful, this mm-hmm. online boutique, it yes. launches on Monday. Monday. It launches on Monday. Yes. This is so exciting. This is, this is what freedom is all about. This is what yes. Delisha was talking about. Mining your money and, and having this money mindset, but also doing what you love and yes. looking good while doing it and wearing yes. it. And you wear it well. You are glowing. Um, I, I, I met you once and you was gathering up stuff for people then. I remember. I remember where we were when I saw you. And <laughs> you're still doing it now. And so I thank you for being you. I thank you for being authentic. I thank you for saying yes to your ministry, for your business. And um, I just wish you all the blessings and abundance and I love it. You know, I'm all about I define me, but be you like I need the coffee mug. I need the I need the dazzle in my life. I know <laughs> this for sure. Um, I can't wait to get some stuff for wifey for dazzle me. This jewelry is going to be beautiful. Um <laughs> tell us what is your affirmation word of the day? Everybody else is gonna drop their words in. And if you want us to like, like we gotta we gotta get there, we're gonna be there. When are you gonna launch? You're gonna launch at a certain time. Is it gonna be like midnight? The website drops. Okay. At midnight. So I like that. Get on there, get it going. <laughs> midnight, the website drops. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so excited. 
I'm yes. so excited. What is your affirmation word of the day? Everybody's dropping theirs in. Um, Alonzo said positivity. Delitra said visibility. What is your affirmation word of the day? My affirmation word of the day would be courage. And I don't want to, you know, go into a whole different realm right now, but my prayer for everybody that sees this video is that God gives you the courage to be you, to be visible, to be positive in every aspect of your life, no matter where you are, no matter how uh, distant you may feel, you might feel negative right now. You might even feel like you're in the dark and no one sees you. My prayer is that you get the courage that God instantly gives you a courage like no other, the courage like the lion have to just roar exactly who you need to be in this season. That is my word. Courage, courage, courage. It's already in you. All you got to do is dig deep down and help and uh, not help God, but allow him to grab it for you and lift your hand up and say, I got it. I got got it. it. That's right. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love your energy. I'm so grateful that Jazz um, connected me with you. Like you are a powerful woman. I just, I, I, God bless everything that you touch. Thank and, you. um, and this I is thank an amazing you. platform too. You're doing thank awesome. You. I, yeah, this is, uh, this is, um, all about us. This is what this is about. Um, yeah. I, I want to thank you. I want to thank Delitra and I want to thank Alonzo every end of the, look, I was going to say of the service. <laughs> We're <laughs> um, at the end of our platform, we do our own year now. But I want to tell you guys something about the end of this week. I wanted to get you on today to launch Monday um, instead of Monday, because next week we have 14 powerful young people, movers wow. and shakers. Next week is our youth edition. And wow. we're going to have 14 kids throughout the week talking about how they are owning their now. That and so this is so relevant relevant church <laughs> into showing them what this platform looks like and how we are birthing our next generation of wealth. And so um, it just makes me emotional to, to see all that God has in store for us yeah. during such a dark time that we can be the light. So yeah. I thank you all for that. I am looking at all the wonderful affirmation words. I hope that you guys definitely pour into everybody's cup. I know Delitra dropped her, um, her, Cash app. Tell us your cash app. You got you. Wait a minute. Do you have a cash app for the beautiful yet? Not for the beautiful, but it all I have a cash app is dollar sign because I do so much, sing everything else. So, yeah. <laughs> um, cash app is dollar sign CMJ Ministries. Dollar CMJ J Ministries. Yes. Did you say C as in cash? C as in cash. <laughs> M as in ministry. Yep. And what's the J as in Jones? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Because we got to get that right. We'll make sure that that's in there. So hopefully everybody gets a chance to pour into someone's cup. Hopefully you guys have shared this as well as you guys are going to go and look at everything that they have to offer and utilize the resource. So as we wrap up today, I'm going to just sip a little bit from my cup. You all see my cup today. I have the Saving Our Sisters SOS Urban League Cup. That was a phenomenal um conference that we have years ago and I love being a part of it. Um, I'm looking down on our chat. So I'm following the chat room as well. And I see that Pat Oliver had put in our group, please contact me for the YWCA because you know what? To tw- the 12 finance advocate list. So Delitra, you got that? I'm, I hope you got it. And so we got resources. Everybody's jumping in. So you guys go back through the chat so you can see everything. But I just want to say thank you for coming thank out. You. I'm going to leave you up with me because you're so beautiful. <laughs> and um, so today, as we wrap up today's Friday, Freedom Friday on your now, I want you guys to realize the value of positivity and know that when we remain positive, then we have this balance within ourselves and collectively we can come together and see what visibility looks like. But in the midst of that, be passionate about what it is that you offer to the world and understand your power and know that when you understand your power, then you will see what it means for us to be thankful for one another, that we can come together and see what this looks like. So continue to exhale, 
inhale, but also realize that when we come together, we can see this vision through. And that's what Freedom Friday is all about. If you don't get a chance to go out, remember to keep sipping shelter in place. But if you do go out, please be safe. Until next time, be you on your now. And we see you guys all same time, same space next week at 8.30 a.m. Peace. Bye-bye.